Hello YouTube, this is Kurosama. And here I have for you today is the SD Cross Silhouette Zeta Gundam. Uh, now, I am a huge fan of the SD Cross Silhouette line. Um, I, I don't know, like, I love the proportions, I love the gimmick that you can actually, you know, combine it with a more um, lengthy, you know, frame all together. Uh, I, I just think it's really awesome, and they do a lot better uh, job at the color separation on these kits vice a lot of the other SD Gundams. Um, I haven't built too many. I built some from the uh, EX Standard line, which I really did not enjoy, uh, and then I also built just a couple from like the BB uh, Senshi line. So I am super excited to go ahead and build my second uh, SD Cross Silhouette Gundam. Okay, so we're looking at the front cover. It's basically going to be in this SD form. Uh, pretty much they all are, I noticed. Um, they don't really show it with the cross silhouette on here, um, but that's okay. I know they're going to show it uh, pretty much down here. Uh, but just looking at the front art, it looks pretty good. Very, very basic and standard, uh, but a very, very dynamic pose nonetheless. This is number five in the SD cross silhouette line. It retails for 1,000 yen, and it was released in 2018. All right, so looking at the side down here, you basically see that it is gonna have some different uh, eye variants. Uh, now the one kind of gripe I do have with the SD line is, yeah, they come with stickers, but I wish there was, um, you know, bas basically water slides that you can get through Bandai. Uh, they probably have them through maybe like third party sources. Uh, I haven't really explored that option yet, but I do wish that these had uh, water slide options just because it, it would look a little bit better. And then you can definitely go ahead and swap that Zeta head out with a Zaku 2 head, uh, much like in the anime. And looking at the SD proportions, uh, you are going to take a look at all the different gimmicks and the different accessories. So he is going to have the uh, beam rifle and it's going to have the beam saber as well. And then the wings can actually uh, pretty much function. They can go up and down, uh, which is actually a pretty cool add-on. But then when you add on the CS frame, uh, the portion is definitely going to get enhanced. Uh, basically, it's going to have more of leg articulation, elbow articulation, and just the overall, you know, body. Just, it's, it's just going to look a little better. And over here is kind of like really, really showcasing all the color separation, especially on the body. Uh, if you look at that body, I mean, that is just, that's going to be so great uh, to paint. It's going to minimize a lot of... Uh, the headaches that you normally would have when it comes to SDs, especially when it comes to like all the yellow. I honestly thought the Vince was going to be a solid piece with like the blue and I have just had to like go ahead and mask and paint. Uh, but it looks like the only thing I'm really going to have to do masking on uh, is probably going to be like maybe the wings, uh, maybe the side vents right there, and just some minor parts on like the arms. Uh, but other than that, it looks like the color separation is going to be fantastic on this kit overall. And we're looking at the runners. Uh, the first runner I'm going to take a look at is going to be A1, which is essentially going to be the uh, SD frame. So not really too much to this, just a white frame uh, for the SD mode. And next we're going to have is B1. Uh, B1 is just essentially going to be most of your color separation with the uh, yellow, white, and blue. Uh, overall, it looks pretty good. There's going to be a little bit right here on the shoulders I'm already taking a look at. So uh, some of these vents right there, I'm going to go ahead, uh, ahead, eh, going to go ahead and have to mask and then paint. Uh, overall, the body doesn't look too bad. I'm probably going to paint inside there uh, for the little missiles that are on the arms. Uh, probably paint some parts right up, up here, these little, like, um, I don't know what these would be, these little fin parts. I think, I think they might be, like, lights or something. Um, down here, I'm going to have to paint that, I think, yellow. I think this is all yellow on uh, inside of here. Uh, front skirt looks good. This all looks good. I'm probably going to uh, mask this and then paint this individual part right there. Uh, the little um, V fin looks pretty good, and the uh, parts up here looks pretty good. So, not really too much going on of uh, as far as masking, but hey, it uh, looks pretty damn good. And here is B2, which is going to be a lot of the white and the red. Um, overall, the red doesn't look too bad. I don't think I'm going to have to uh, do any masking or painting on any uh, any of this red part right here. Uh, but for the white head, um, actually, I think this is going to be fine as well, except for like right here. I'm going to have to mask and then paint these uh, vents, so probably yellow on the outside and then uh, black right there on the inside of the vent. Uh, as well as this, I'm probably going to mask all that, paint that yellow, uh, and probably just inside black. That looks really to be about it. This is going to be the part for the eyes, so that doesn't look too bad. Uh, oh, they got some thrusters right here, so I'm going to have to... Uh, paint those as well. I haven't really decided what I'm going to paint that though. Um, so I'll figure that out in the future, but everything else looks pretty good. 
And lastly, we're gonna have Runner C. Uh, runner C is just gonna be all black runner. Uh, looks pretty good. You're gonna have the rifle, which I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna try and do as much color separation on here as possible, because uh, there's quite a few areas I can do, like maybe bronze. Uh, I could do some red right here on like the pipes. Uh, just kind of like do as much of color separation on here as possible. Uh, and then definitely on here for the wings, I'm gonna have to uh, mask all this and, and paint this right here, paint all this. Uh, so that's gonna be a little bit of a headache, but shouldn't be too bad. Um, other than that, this looks pretty good. The hands look all right. Um, I, I think I might have to mask off the hand and then paint the top of this white, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but other than that, it doesn't really look too bad. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the stickers. All right, for the stickers, uh, I mean, it's basically what I would be painting it anyways. Uh, so I, I didn't know that the top sensor camera was actually blue, so I kind of changed my plans. I, gotta, I might have to uh, look at what blues I have to paint that. Uh, but the red, I mean, this is all going to be pink, um, if I'm remembering correctly. So all this, I'm probably going to paint that pink. Uh, yellow should be the same, and then uh, the eyes, that should all be the same. And looking at the manual, nothing really too special inside here. Uh, so very, very basic. Doesn't really have anything that's X'd out on the runners. Uh, some color on the back. And it's going to also have uh, the cross silhouette. Uh, so basically you're gonna have the SD as well as the cross silhouette on the same page uh, for that actual body uh, assembly. So the head should be pretty much the same. I don't think the head changes at all. But I know definitely for uh, the arms and legs it's all gonna change as you can see in here. Now I do have the white frame that's gonna be uh, utilized for this kit. Uh, now the one thing I tell you is if you have not picked this up um, and you really want to get frames for your SD kits, um, I would recommend you like just stockpile them as much as you can. Um, and like here in Japan at least, these are actually kind of hard to come by. Uh, even when I went to Tokyo, like I did find some like in in the more predominant stores like uh, Gundam Base uh, Tokyo and like um, I think like Yellow Submarine. I found it, uh, or I think even. I think even some of the big ones, like, um, I think it's like Bit Camera. Uh, I actually didn't see any uh, any of the frames. And here in Iwakuni and uh, Hiroshima, I haven't found any of the frames. So uh, I should be going out probably in October. Uh, I'll head out to Hiroshima and I'll try and find some more frames because I'm gonna go ahead and stockpile them. Uh, generally, probably a month before the new SDs come out. Now I do have some decals I'm gonna use, but I really need to get the Zeta 3 decals. Uh, the only problem is I haven't found any that are, um, you know, like made by Bandai and are in like 10144 scale. So I'm gonna to have to keep searching to try and find uh, some Zeta 3 decals uh, for this kit. Now when it comes to the paint, the first one we'll take a look at is German Grey. So this is essentially going to be for all the inner frame. Uh, that's pretty much about it. I was thinking about using this for maybe the weapon, but I think just the inner frame this will be fine for. And next is going to be Light Gull Grey. This is going to be for some of the offset armor. Uh, so I'm going to go for basically for two tones. I'm going to go for white as well as this grey uh, just to kind of like make it a little bit unique. And here is the white I'm going with, which is basically white version anime color. Um, so I, I think I think it looks pretty good. I have a lot of different uh, types of whites, but I'm very curious about this one. It doesn't look very bright, uh, which is kind of like the thing I was going for because I, I want the pink uh, to be brighter than the white. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, utilize this for all the w white parts I'm not using for the gray essentially. And next we have fluorescent green, which I'm going to be using this for the eyes. And I don't think I'm going to have to use this for anything else, but yeah, this would be uh, the eye color. And next we have a Shiara yellow. Um, uh, this is basically going to be for all like the vents and everything. I mean, mainly vents. I don't think the yellow goes for much of anything else. Uh, V-fin vents, uh, and that should be it. But yeah, this is a very, very good yellow. I've used this uh, on a couple of other kits uh, already. And next is basic gun metal. So this will be used for the gun. And I decided to go with just basic pink. Um, I, I know that it's not pink uh, for the Zeta 3, but I, I, I think I've seen a couple of painted kits that did utilize pink, and I think it looks like pretty damn good. Uh, so that's what I'm just gonna essentially stick with is going to be the pink. And lastly, I do have clear pink, so this is going to go ahead and be utilized um, for shading. Uh, I definitely wanted to try my hand at shading, so I'm, a, I'm a just going to attempt this on some like basic um, plastic parts on the side, see how it looks, and if it does look like it's, it can definitely work, 
uh, then that's what I'm actually going to do because uh, I'm, I'm very curious as to, as to how shading uh, can work on these kits. So, you know, let's go ahead and see what, you know, what it mounts up to. But that's it for me guys, so um, you know, definitely stay tuned. I'm going to try and go ahead and uh, post some of the work in progress on either my uh, Facebook channel or pa possibly uh, maybe Instagram, I haven't really decided yet. Uh, but nonetheless, go ahead and stay tuned for the, uh, the finished painted build. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to finish it until maybe early October, but I am going to try for this weekend since this is the only kit I'm going to be working on the entire week. Uh, but other than that guys, definitely thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more you know, Gunpla goodness and I'll see you in the next review. Bye-bye.